Hello class. Today we're going to look at mental math and try to determine just how mental you are. But what we're going to do is we're going to be using mental math to multiply multi-digit numbers together like a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three, and come up with the correct answer. We're going to use a process that we use in an algebra that's called LOEF or FOIL backwards. And that stands for the last digits, the outer digits, the inner digits, and the first digits. Now this is kind of an example, an algebraic example of what we, what we do because the reason why we learn this process with 2x2s two and 3x3s three is so that we then can, once we get into algebra, multiply polynomials together. So let's see if we can, we can do this process with a problem we already know because hopefully you already know that 12 times 12 is 144. But let's see if this actually works. So again, we're going to be using a process called LOEF. L-O-I-F, which stands for last digit, the outer digits, the inner digits. And what we'll do with these is we will multiply the outers and multiply the inners and then add those two products together. Right? And then this stands for, the F stands for first. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is our last digits, which are going to be the numbers in our ones places. We're going to take those two and we're going to multiply them together. So we have two times two, which is four, and we write that down. Now we're going to work with our outies and innies, our outer numbers and our inner numbers. Outer is referring to the two numbers on the outside, which is the one and the two. So we're going to multiply this one with this two, because they're the outside digits of our problem. We're going to multiply those together. One times two, and then we're going to hold on to that number in our fingers. Or you could write that down if you wanted to. And then we're going to look at our inner numbers, the two and the one, and we're going to multiply those together as well. Two times one again is two. Now what we want to do with our outers, our outer product, and our inner product is add those together. And we end up with four, and we write that down. And then last but not least, we're going to look at our first digits or our front digits, the one and the one. And we're going to multiply those together. One times one is one. And as you see, the answer is exactly what we expected, 144. Let's try another one. Here's one that's a little bit tougher, 25 times 32. But we're going to do the same exact thing, our last digits. So we're going to take the five and the two and multiply those together. Five times two is 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the zero down and in our fingers, we're gonna hold the one, which is our carry that we would be carrying over in this problem. Okay, now we're going to do our outer digits, which is the two and the two. We're gonna multiply those together. Two times two is four, and you could write that down if you wanted to. Okay, and then five times three, which is 15. We're going to take those two numbers, the outers and the inners, we're going to add those together. So we add 4 and 15 together to get 19, plus our 1 that we had carry over, which gives us a total of 20. So then we're going to write our 0 down for that, and now we're going to carry the 2 in our fingers. And now we're going to do the last one that, that's there, which is our first digits, the 2 and the 3. We'll multiply those together. Two times three is six, plus our two that we had as a carry, which gives us eight. So our answer is 800. Now, if you wanted to check that, you could bring up a calculator. Here's a calculator on my screen. And I could actually multiply that together just to check to see if it works. So let's just see. 25 times 32. And sure enough, 800 is our answer. Let's try one more real quick. And then we'll do a three by three. It's a little bit tougher. So here we have 54 times 83. So again, we're going to start with our last digits, which is the ones place. Four times three is 12. So we write the two down, carry the one in our fingers. Okay. Now this next part here with the outers and the inners, sometimes this is kind of tricky and these numbers kind of get big. So we end up with our outies, which is 5 and 3, which is 15. 4 times 8, which is 32. We add those together. 
So 30 and 10 make 40, plus our 7 is 47, plus the 1 that we carried from the 12, we end up with 48. So we write the 8 down, and we carry the 4 in our fingers. And now we multiply our first digits together. 5 times 8 gives us 40, plus the 4 that we were carrying in our fingers to give us 4,482 is our answer. And again, we can pull up our calculator to check this just to make sure our process is correct. 54 times 83 does actually give us 4,482. Now we're going to do one, one more problem, but this time this one's going to be a little bit tougher. This one's going to be a 3 by 3. And this one doesn't quite work with LOIF, L-O-I-F, because we now have a middle number that we have to deal with. Okay, so this one, we're going to follow the same process, but we've got to add a few steps in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our 3 and our 3, and we're going to multiply those together. 3 times 3 gives us 9. Okay, so we multiply that. Now I'm going to erase this so that we then can look at, our, look at this problem in pieces. Now we're going to look at our 23 and our 23, and we're going to do our Audi and anything. Okay, so we're going to look at our outside digits, which is the the 2 and the 3. We're going to multiply those together. 2 times 3 is 6. And then do our inners. 2 times 3 is also 6. So we do 6 plus 6. We had no carries, so we just get 12. So we write the 2 down. We carry the 1 in our fingers. Okay. Now the next part, this is the tough part. We're going to look at all three numbers. And we're going to do our outies, middles, and innies. So we're going to start with the 1 and the 3, and do 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4. We're going to do 3 times 1, which is 3. We're going to add those together along with the carry that we had in the last part and write that down. So we end up with 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 is 10 plus 1 is 11, so we write the 1 down, and we carry the 1 in our fingers, okay? So, start over, all right? So now, the next part is, we look at the 12, and again, do our outies and innies. So we're going to do 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus the 1 that we carried gives us 5. And now, last but not least, we look at our front digits, the 1 and the 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Now, if you did everything correctly like that, you end up with what we came up with was 15,129. Let's see if that's correct. 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, 3 equals, and sure enough, it works. So that's how we multiply 2 by 2s and 3 by 3s together using only mental math. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.